Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad that you stopped by. In this channel, we will be giving information regarding many fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. As this channel is just for providing information about how good these things are and what they have the ability what they can do for us but this channel is not any way shape or form to substitute medical advice or anything uh, so always good idea to ask your doctor go to your doctor for any medical advice that you need regarding using any fruits vegetable nuts seeds herbs or anything else so be sure to ask your doctor your doctor knows the best about you your health condition and the medicine you're taking and what consequence it might have for you starting a new fruits vegetable herbs spices or any kind of things so this channel does not take any responsibility for any harm caused by using any fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, gra grains, or herbs. Thank you. Hi, today I'm going to do the requested video on O blood group, the O positive and the O negative, the foods they can eat and cannot eat. So this is diet according to your blood group and several people have written books about it and many people claims that they, these uh, advices do work to some extent. So we're going to talk about what they can eat first and then we'll talk about what they cannot eat. So the vegetable wise they can eat artichoke beet, beet greens, broccoli, celery, collard greens, dandelion greens, escarole. They can eat garlic. They can eat horseradish, kale, parsley, parsnips, sweet potato, pumpkin, seaweed, spinach, Swiss chard, turnip grains, turnips. Um, they can eat arugula, asparagus, bamboo shoots, beet, bok choy, carrot, celery, zucchini, cilantro, cucumber, dill, endive, fennel, yam, ginger, tofu. Boston lettuce, iceberg lettuce, they can use tempeh, lima beans, green olives, green onion, and green, yellow, jalapeno peppers. Um, they can eat salad, snow peas, mung beans, sprouted mung beans barley malt and then they can eat chives tapioca maple syrup rice syrup they can eat prunes plum figs apple apricot black and red currants the raisins like bigger raisins called currant cherries and they can eat mangoes, cranberry, star fruit, elderberry, grapes, red and green, concord grapes, guava, kiwi. And they can eat lemon, logan berries, papaya, and dates, watermelon, pear, nectarine, peaches, pineapple, parmesans, pomegranate, raisins, raspberries, strawberry, hind pepper, chickweed, dandelion, fenugreek, ginger, um, then peppermint, parsley, rose hips, and then uh, Sarah. Uh, sarasapilla and they can eat catnip, chamomile tea, 
and ginseng tea, elderberry tea, dang kwai, hachon tea, green tea, raspberry tea, sage tea, super mint tea, thyme tea, valerian tea, beach arrow tree tea. And they can eat ejical bread, essence bread, uh, brown rice, gluten free, 100% ray bread, soya flour bread, and they can eat spilled and washa bread. They can eat millets, they can eat rice, they can eat rye crisp they can eat all kinds of millet pudding and they can eat amaranth barley split peas buckwheat cream of rice and they can eat kamut kasa rice bran puffed millet puffed rice and they can eat figs plums prunes now let's see what else they can eat they actually have a long list of food that they can eat and then a long list of food they now meat wise they can eat beef um liver um heart buffalo this can they can eat and they can eat chicken they can eat corn is hands corn is dark and um, they can eat like a liver heart um, they can eat lamb and they can eat chicken buffalo beef corn is lamb corn is ham dark portrait liver heart mm, this the and they can also eat butter and then they can eat farmer's cheese feta cheese goat cheese mozzarella cheese soya cheese soya milk they can take the uh, seltzer water they can take beer green tea red wine white wine they can take oil wise they can take flaxseed oil Mm, and olive oil these are the good oil but they can eat cooked food with canola oil and they can take food with sesame oil and they can take in cod liver oil as vitamin d and then let's see seafood what they can take they can take blue fish cod fish they can take uh, hack sole halibut herring mackerel uh, they can take uh, rainbow, pills, trout, red snipper, salmon, red, uh, sardines, and they can eat, eat stripped bass, short fish, white fish, yellow purse, yellow tail, tuna fish, anchovy, bass, uh, clam, crab, crayfish, flounder um squid some people do eat frog that's so amazing my god frog and hoppers i don't know how that tastes uh squid haddock lobster mussel monkfish ocean purse and they can eat sea bass oyster scallop and they can eat pumpkin seed, walnut, almond, almond butter, chestnut. And then they can eat macadamia nuts, pecan nuts, uh, pine nuts. All this butter also they can eat sesame seeds, sesame seed butter, sunflower seeds, sunflower seed butter. Mm. Now, what's not good for them is grains. But they can take like barley buckwheat uh, uh, quinoa brown rice wild rice ray flour spelt flour and they can take like a lot of vegetables a lot of meat the ones i mentioned you can take black cherry pineapple prune apricot carrot uh, black beans uh, faba beans garbanjo beans green beans lima beans northern red beans soya 
beans and then uh, string beans white beans and they can take a juki beans black eyed peas pinto beans and they can take celery cranberry cucumber grapes grapefruit papaya tomato juice tomato a sauce, the vegetable juices, spices, they can take tiny pepper, curry, dal, scallop, turmeric, parsley, allspice, almond, ansi, arrowroot, basil, dill, dal, scallop, bay leaf, horseradish, honey, salt, nut, meg, oregano, tamari, so all these things they can eat. That is a long list of food that O blood group can eat. Now let's talk about what they cannot eat. They cannot eat bacon. They cannot eat goose. They cannot eat ham. They cannot eat pork. But they can eat chicken, lamb, beef. <clears throat> but pork is bad for them. I have seen some old blood group people really doesn't do good with chicken. So it's depending on you, how you feel. And eggs is not good for them. American cheese, harmful blue cheese, buttermilk, and then casein, cheddar, colby cheese. And what other thing is bad for them is so surprising to me. Any kind of coffee, um, any kind of diet soda, regular soda, any kind of teas like black tea. So um, regular coffee, decaf coffee, black tea, all is bad for them. But green tea is good for them. And they can take all the herbal teas like you boil the herbs and drink the tea so what oils and fats are bad for them is corn peanuts safflower 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 and cotton seed and i already told what oil they can eat they can eat olive oil and flax oil and harmful is Barracuda, catfish, caviar. Imagine that's so expensive. The old blood group cannot eat that. And then octopus, that's also expensive. Old blood group cannot eat that. Do you know why I think? Because see, the old blood group was the first one. So this is very old. The first the human beings came, they were all mostly O blood group. And they used to eat mostly hunters and gatherers. So they will eat mostly leaves and meats. And so this is just new or the fancy or the artificial food or anything to do with canned food, packaged food, processed food is not good for them because they were the first one to come to this world. And so that's the oldest, oldest for old blood groups. So they, they are better off eating lots of vegetable and lots of meat and very little grain and no new or fancy food or packaged food or anything that's not good for them so they so these are the list right now for not eating okay so copper beans navy beans tamarind domestic uh, green and red lentils red lentils i have seen they don't do well Brazil nuts is harmful for them, cashew, pistachios, peanuts, peanut butter, poppy seed, and, and bulgur, and couscous, durum flour, gluten, flour with gluten, gram, and oat flour, soba noodles, semolina, pasta, spinach pasta spinach is good for them but not spinach pasta sprouted whole wheat flour rice flour whole wheat flour harmful is capper cinnamon cornstarch corn syrup not big black and white pepper vanilla extract that is so weird black pepper even vanilla extract apple cider balsamic red white and wine vinegar 
a fruit uh, blackberries coconut cantaloupe imagine cantaloupe as in uh, oh people eat so much cantaloupe honeydew melon imagine that oranges wow um then oranges then strawberries tangerines oh my god tangerines rhubarbs and artichokes beet greens so artichoke beet greens broccoli these are good for them now let's see what other things are bad for them this is a whole list of things which are already i said good for them um for cereal wise they can take amaran barley spell mm, buckwheat cream of rice kamut kasa i already said uh, let's see more things which are bad for them avocado chinese red and white cabbage imagine that cauliflower they've been eating cauliflower so much cauliflower white and yellow corn eggplant mushroom mustard greens black and greek olives black and greek olives but they can eat green olives imagine that red and white potatoes alfalfa sprout brussels sprout alfalfa uh, aloe vera burdock mm, Echensia, golden seal, red clover, rhubarb, St. John's wort, senna, yellow duck, strawberry leaf, these are harmful, wheat bagels, corn muffin, durum wheat, English muffin, high protein bread, wheat, and then multi grain bread, pumpernickel bread, sprouted wheat bread, wheat bran muffins, whole wheat bread, imagine whole wheat bread, corn flakes, corn meal, cream of wheat, grape nuts, oat bran, oatmeal, seven grain cereals, shredded wheat, wheat bran and wheat gram. Imagine all these things are bad for them. So there are a lot of things which are good for them and there are a lot of things. So what I see is bad for them is mostly grains and weeds and what is good for them is meat and a lot of leafy vegetables and there are a lot of fruits too but it was so weird to watch the oranges and tangerines. These are bad. That was just so like orange is bad so yeah they have a um, whole list of things which are bad but they, then they can eat the good it's apple apricot black and red currants cherries strawberries mangoes cranberry star fruit elderberry grapes red and green concord grapes guava kiwi Mm, these things like lemon, logan berries, papaya, dates, watermelon, pear, nectarine, peaches, pineapple, pers, parmesan, pomegranate, raisin, raspberry, strawberry. So these they can eat. So there are a whole lot of food which is good for them, whole lot of bad for them. So you're just going to have to eat and see. So how you know what's good for them, what's bad for them is when you eat your food. And you see if you feel very sleepy and dull and like it's not good, no energy, then you know it's not good for you. Even though it's said in the book here, but you see yourself, how is your body feels. And be sure to ask your doctor, these are just books written by people who believe this might help people. But then you ask your doctor to know what is good for you, what is not. So thank you so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you with another one. I'll come up with the AB blood group, which is missing. I already did the B, the A plus positive and negative, And I did the O now. So now the left is AB.